Hello everyone, this is Zabed this side and I'll be giving you a short preview of what I've done on my bike to make it much more touring friendly and off-roading easy or oh, sorry friendly. Presently I'm riding somewhere in uh, towards Jammu from Delhi and I've just crossed uh, Jalandhar. So quick, quickly I'll show what I'll have done. I have been riding in highways like these and few slush areas. This is my KTM 290 Adventure. Starting from the front side, I have installed a KTM power part which protects the glass, if you can see the space in between, you can see the space in between. So this external glass piece is what I have got from KTM as power part, which keeps a lot of bugs away. Now this is my windshield, but the stock windshield is not like this. I'll just move the helmet to show you the angle. Uh, the stock windshield is uh, much more uh, in angle with the front uh, light, it's something like this. So I've got this small power part which you can see, oh, sorry, not, not a power part, I'm so sorry. I've got this small part which you see here with screws. It's an adapter which is made by uh, Route 95, you can contact them also. Route 95 is a company, uh, these guys have made this adapter which makes the, makes the windshield from this angle to like this. Hence it makes the air, you know, go above my helmet, it just flows over my helmet. And you can see a lot of bugs which have uh, been, uh, if it's visible, have been killed in last uh, 24 hours of my riding. Now from the front side, uh, I have got one foot protected from Zana. And I have a GoPro mount here for my videos. Then coming up front here, uh, I have two phone adapters since I use different phones for my office and my work. So it is... a a basic adapter from Zana. It's a brand in uh, Delhi, Zana. This is the holder. On this, I've installed my two of my uh, RAM mounts. The RAM mounts hold my phones and then they connect to my Bluetooth from, of my bike and also to my helmet. Then there's a small... Uh, this people find it not useful, but in case of impact, uh, this is where your he head with he will hit in case there's no, uh, you know, this, this, there's no uh, tank bag. So this is just for my own safety, people don't like it, people say it's very costly. Yeah, it is costly, but it should be as per your own, you know, as per your own uh, requirements and as per your fantasies. Okay, coming back, here is my, this is my helmet, nothing big about this. It's a normal helmet with the GoPro and uh, Sena, I use, I use Sena, but I'll prefer to go, go on Cardo. Coming back, back here, I have one more uh, slider over here from Zana and one uh, slider over here from Biker's Billet which is a company based in Mumbai followed by uh, I have two saddle bags okay they are from Gods people know the brand Gods followed by this is my helmet bag uh, in which I keep my accessories of my helmet my emergency chargers my you know my uh, raincoats my winchitas all this comes in this bag and uh, people tend to keep their water bags on their back but I prefer to keep it uh, like this because I like wind hitting my jacket so I feel airy so it is always tied to my back like this I sit in between and coming to the left side of my bike the left side I have a tow protector by bikers billet because uh, there have been incidents when I have a crash your toe gets stuck here and my rear sprocket is a KTM power part it's a KTM power pod just launched in India, which is 75% uh, less in weight. Uh, this this pocket, which you see in orange in color, and the performance is obviously amazing. It's light in weight, and it is uh, it gives what do you call? Oh, uh, yeah, that's it. And then coming up, uh, I have this is my jacket. Uh, yeah, nothing else I have done on my bike. So that's the basic preview of uh, give you a, a side shot. How the bike looks from from behind i hope it's visible and then if you come on the sideways something like this and then the front one it looks something like this so that's it folks thank you